Hi everyone, I'm Steph and I wanted to share with you where I'm at on my fitness and health journey. And with that, I wanna give you a little bit of a background behind where I've been um, throughout my life and just kind of where I'm at. I'm certainly not at the end, so this is not like a weight loss journey particularly yet. <laughs> and um, I'm not at the beginning, you know, it's definitely been ups and downs. So I wanted to share this with you um, for a couple reasons. One would be for my own accountability just to share it so that I can look back and cheer myself on and feel really good about where I've come from um, as I grow and as I do get more fit and more healthy. And also just to encourage you guys if you have any um, questions or anything like that or if, if you're going through this just so that you know that you're not alone. Um, I just wanted to do that for, for you as well. And if you have any suggestions, you know, feel free to comment below. So let me just get started. It's kind of a, a cold November evening. Gavin and Ozzy and um, their buddy is downstairs and they're playing some video games. So if you hear them coming up or screaming or anything like that, that's why. So I'm just kind of having a cozy little evening here by the tree. So I thought I would just share this with you. So this has really been on my heart here. Um, a lot recently so let me just kind of try to start from the beginning and not make this too long but um, I guess throughout my life um, my weight loss journey or my I don't know if that's the word to use but my relationship with my health has been up and down growing up you know I've never been that skinny twiggy kid you know I've always kind of been built uh, what they called big boned I've always struggled with especially midsection fat and that kind of thing um, I always knew growing up that if I ever wanted to get really skinny, I would have to re work really hard for it. That's just kind of been, that's just kind of how I've been built. That's my genes. And so, um, I remember, especially, you know, in high school, that was something that I really tried to improve. Um, I did have to really, really watch my weight. I was always limiting myself on what I could eat. Um, and I remember just at the time, I ne I've never in my life felt like I've arrived, like I've ever, you know, felt skinny or anything like that. I've always felt chubby. So um, that is definitely something that I've, I've dealt with. So then after high school um, and into college, you know, again, that was still just always a battle, always feeling like I needed to lose weight. And then I'd, even, even for our wedding day, like I really didn't feel like that was something that I had attained. You know, I feel like a lot of women feel like, you know, you're supposed to be at your perfect weight, you're supposed to be showing your best self for your wedding day. And even at that point, I really didn't feel like that's where I was. Um, there was just so much going on. You know, I was in college when we got married. I was 20 and we only had a six month engagement. So, you know, it just wasn't something that happened. It just, you know, and I've, I remember the week of my wedding just feeling really bad about that, that, you know, I still wasn't at that goal weight when that's when every, there are a lot of women just are kind of like, oh, you know, that's that's when it's gonna happen. <laughs> it didn't. Um, and of course, I'm sure Ozzy was fine. Like he, you know, he didn't really care <laughs> what I was like. And so, um, yes. So then, so that was 2011. 2015, then at the end of that, um, that's when I had Gavin. So that year is when I was pregnant with him and I had already gained some weight before we got pregnant. Um, so my, in general, just to kind of give you a frame of reference of where I'm at and where I'm going with my goals, I'm gonna share with, with you where I'm at. So I'm about five feet tall, five one. Um, and so I have a very small, like short frame. And so I should be more on the petite side. Um, so like 120, maybe low 130s is what's healthy for me. And that's kind of where I was. 120s is probably where I was most of like my, my high school, maybe college. I honestly don't even remember. Um, and that's good for me. Even though at the time I thought, oh, I have to get down to like 110 or something like hmm. that would, no, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so, um, so then by the time I had gotten pregnant with Gavin, I was probably around 140. Like I know that I had gained some weight right before that. And it was even at the point where, you know, some people had said, oh, you know, we were wondering if you were pregnant, you noticed you were, um, that you were gaining weight or you had started to show, like, don't say someone that that's someone like when you're four weeks in or six weeks or whenever you're telling people like, you're not showing yet. <laughs> so yeah, that wasn't good. 
Uh, so I definitely was not at a healthy point when, when I got pregnant with him. And then I believe my weight went up to about 170 when I was pregnant. And of course it drops off right after you have a kid. And then, you know, it was just working down. So I had worked down um, some of the weight off. I forget what I was down to, but I was feeling pretty okay with myself for a little while. And then it had, again, had gained it back on within the two years since having him. So the, the real trigger for me... Um, was in 2015 so again gavin was two years old um at the end of that year i'm sorry at the end of 2016 going to 2017 um so going into that year that november of 2016 uh ozzy and i took a trip to puerto rico and i remember um trying to take pictures of myself you know or ozzy taking pictures of me like by the beach you know from the back i think there was this one picture i was sitting back like this and you could see my arms from and I was having him shoot from behind and with me looking towards an ocean I thought it was gonna be this amazing picture well I looked at it and that is not a flattering picture when you have gained weight um I'm just gonna leave it at that so I just remember really struggling with that and I had seen some other pictures of me recently I'd be like oh those were just bad angles like no you know I don't think they were just bad angles um so that was kind of like a wake-up call and so I just decided, I, I told to Ozzy, I was like, you know what, I, I need to change things. Like, this is not okay. And um, so he supported me in that. And he's never been one to push me either way. Like, he, he you know, to him, you know, if I'm happy, um, then, then he'll support me in whatever it is I want to do. Which is awesome. I'm very thankful for that. So we created... Um, an eating plan so we decided we didn't like choose like if it's particularly like paleo or keto and I honestly still to this day don't even really know we just said you know what no carbs so no bread car carbs so we cut out breads um, and and it really makes you realize that when you do cut out breads out of your diet you know a lot of bad things or unhealthy foods have bread in them so it really helps to just get rid of a lot of that and we ate a lot of chicken vegetables fruits you know a lot of things that were not nothing gimmicky nothing that was hard to follow that's just when we cut out breads, like I could really see a big difference. Um, and of course, you know, try to like limit other things as you know, the, the sugars and that kind of thing. But that was our main thing. Um, then I started going to the gym and actually on our way home from Puerto Rico, I think, I don't even think that we had gotten to the house yet, but we stopped at, I was like, you know what? Stop at Planet Fitness. I know this was close to my job. I stopped, <laughs> ran out of the car, signed up and said, okay, I'm gonna be back tomorrow. And at that point, then I decided, you know what, with my schedule, I could go in every morning. Um, mornings have always been tough for me, but at that point, I was like, you know what, I'm driven, I'm just going to do it. So I would go in every morning before work. I would do about 30 minutes of cardio, 30 minutes to 45 minutes of weights, and I would do that every day. And for about six months, um, this whole routine, like, really, really worked. And I, I heard this phrase once that I really love, and it's... Um, it just really stuck with me. I don't know how long ago I heard it, but it's, it takes four weeks for you to notice the change. Four weeks of consistent working out and, and lifestyle change for you to, to, for you to notice the change. Um, six weeks for your close family and people who always see you every day to, to notice. And eight weeks for, hold on, four, six, eight. I'm sorry. <laughs> four weeks for you to notice, eight weeks for those around you to notice, like close family and 12 weeks for um, other people, acquaintances, to notice the change. So four, eight, and 12. So three months. And um, I remember, and that was true, and that, that the first four weeks is so hard, and that's where I'm in the middle of right now. You know, it, it's really hard when you don't see that change. Um, but then I would say between weeks six and eight, um, people who I worked with every day started to come up to me and ask, you know, what's the difference? You know, what, what are you doing? You know, you look great. I'm noticing that like your, um, your face is looking skinnier. You just look healthy. And that was the biggest motivator to me. And like, it shouldn't be about what other people think, you know, um, it, if you are at whatever weight you are, whatever height, whatever weight, and you know, you're happy, or even if you're not, like you are, you are beautiful. Like I understand that like even where I'm at, like I am beautiful. It's just a matter of like how I personally feel healthy for me. So please know that this is not about like, oh, you have to be at a certain weight. This is just for me to be able to feel healthy and happy. And, and when people were starting to say like, look, you know, I'm, I'm noticing, you know, that you look healthy, like that was a big affirmation to me. It was like, okay. <laughs> Cause I think, you know, when everyone's working out, whenever you're working out or, or trying to lose weight, you know, ultimately you kind of, is it bad to say that you want people to notice? I don't know, but you do kind of like, you want that to change on the, on the outside. Um, so 
anyway, so that was kind of where I was at at that point. So that was really encouraging. So then, um, by, and this is in 2017. So by, um, July, I would say like January to July is when the, I was strongest with that. And then I knew that my friend had a wedding in August and I was really, um, inspired to, um, just really get to my peak, um, goal or I didn't really have a goal weight, but like my peak health, um, by that point. And so in June, in June, June or July, I had joined like a, a challenge group to do like an upper body challenge. And I remember that through that, like there was something that triggered in that, that even though I started well, because I didn't get the whole way to the end, something triggered with me that was like, you know what, that, um, that's just like, I, I, I couldn't make it to the end of that. And something triggered in me was like, you know what? okay, well you didn't do that. So it's okay if you kind of fudge on this, um, diet thing or, or that. And so it kind of became a downward spiral from there. Um, I would say the rest of that year just kind of plateaued. Um, I probably gained a little bit, bit of the weight back and it just kind of became something where I just kind of fell off track. And then, um, over the last two years, 2018, 2019, um, it's definitely been struggle time for me. You know, I've definitely gained a lot of weight back, um, stopped going to the gym. And I think during that time over like every couple weeks would be like, um, okay, you know, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to do better. You know, I, I don't want to feel this way. I want to, I want to get back to the gym. I want to work out even if it was at home. We even, at one point we bought workout equipment for our house and, and Ozzy still really uses it and I use it occasionally now, but, um, you know, we just, we didn't want any excuses. We wanted it to be available. And yeah, it's just been like this off and on thing the last couple, couple years. And then I would get to a point where, oh, I don't want to do it or whatever, you know, whatever that is that we go through. And then I just kind of feel, um, guilty for that. And then kind of, it's just this terrible cycle. So if anyone has any, um, words to speak to that and how to avoid those cycles, that's really what I would, I would love to hear that. So please comment below with that. Um, but then the last, over the last month or two, I've really had some identity, um, questions, you know, just things that I've been really trying to work on myself of who I am and, and my self-worth and that kind of thing. Um, a lot of it's been spiritual, but, but part of it is, has been that, you know, I just look in the mirror and I see things that I've never seen before. You know, I've, I'm seeing, um, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm seeing back rolls and I've never seen that before. And that's been really hard, um, this year to, to notice coming on. Um, I weighed myself and I'm back to close to 160, sometimes hitting 160, depending on the day. Uh, that's 10 pounds less than I was when I was pregnant with Gavin and I had gained a lot. I was huge with Gavin, like in my, for my body, like, and to knowing that I'm, to know that I'm carrying that without being pregnant with him, like, is really difficult, um, for me, like personally with knowing where I should be health wise. Um, it's been really difficult. So I've been trying this past month, um, I've been really trying to get, rid of some bad habits. Um, one of my, my hardest things that I, that I've had to deal with is that I have a tendency to binge late at night. You know, Gavin, Ozzy goes to bed and then I, um, kind of get up and binge and then I feel terrible in the morning. So thankfully this past month I figured out a way to fall asleep quicker. And so I've been, um, I, I haven't been dealing with that as much so that I really feel good with that. I've been working out more, really trying to, if you, you know, one thing, if you guys um, need a place to learn yoga, Yoga with Adrienne is a, is a YouTube channel that I stumbled across a couple years ago and she has been so dear to my heart and she is an excellent instructor, um, very gently kind of teaching you and coaching you through yoga and that's been a, a lifesaver for me and that's something I want to get more into doing regularly. Um, but over the past month I've really been doing that more so that I can get my mindset right. So I have a goal for myself. <laughs> so that's kind of my journey. That's where I'm at. Um, I have a goal for myself and in two months in January of 2020, um, I'm going to be starting off the year, this visionary year of 2020 where I, you know, I'm, I'm choosing that this is the year, 2020 is the year that I'm going to go the whole way through the year and be healthy and be consistent instead of just halfway through and it's going to make a change for my life, okay? And I know that that might sound cheesy, but you know what, I'm gonna believe it, and I'm just going for it, and I'm gonna just remove all negativity, thinking that, oh, it's just a resolution, it's not. This is gonna be my life change, and I just wanna put it out here, I'm putting it publicly, I'm probably not even gonna preview this video, because I just want it to be out there. 
Um, and so in January, we're taking a trip to Puerto Rico and this will be the first time since that trip in November, 2016, that really um, changed my first time of getting healthy. So I'm at around 160 now. My ideal, like where I feel like I'm healthiest is in the 120s, max 135. Um, so trying to be realistic, I have two months. I would love to get down to 140 um, so that I'm on that tra track. Um, so that's what I'm going to try for. I did put, I looked at my, up my gym um, fitness class schedule because I know that those always push me further than my own workouts. So I put those into my calendar. I'm going to try to get to the gym or work out in some way um, five times a week and um, really try to keep my, my eating in order. So I'm going to, I'll get more into that in another video. I know this is getting long. If you're still watching, thanks for sticking in um, the video with me and yeah, if you have any thoughts, any encouragement of how to not let this just be a yo-yo thing to really stick um, consistently with this, please comment below. I just ask no direct sales or MLM marketing type comments, no Beachbody, no Octavia. I'm really not interested in that. And that's all as far as I'm going to go into that comment. But if you have any actual um, experience um, or tips or anything like that that you'd like to share, please do. I'd love to hear it. And um, yeah, so that's my story. Now it's out there and we'll just see how it keeps going. Cheers. Hey guys, so I just thought it might be helpful for you to see the progress photo, <laughs> progress video. So here is me, just so you kind of get an idea as I go along where I'm at. I'll even give you the back shot. Hey! So that's where I am. <laughs>